The days of my youth are dying. I have become old and tired as I march through desert sands. There is nothing here. No life, no joy, no people. Just endless wastes and endless sky. My men too grow weary, their bodies burnt and their feet cracked. But still, our pace is relentless. And although I feel my life draining and slowing, my duty spears me on. I promised my father to end the Ptolemies, and they are almost destroyed. When I look back on my life, I have done my duty, and I have succeeded in it. I hope that my father and grandfather are proud. But my haste is not born fully out of purpose. There is at least some part born out of weariness for all this war and all this death to end. To give me rest and comfort for the end of my days so that I may find peace before I meet the gods. But for now, we march on through the sands of time and take city after miserable city. So I will move as fast as I can so that soon the Ptolemies will be gone and that soon I can rest at last. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid game in RTR Imperium Serectum. And I can't tell you how much I am enjoying this campaign. It is so fun, really enjoyable, playing as my favorite nation, uh, lots of campaign management. It is really, really good fun. I've got to remember to stick the, uh, the new building in Baroya, the new governor's palace. Governor's Palace, there we are. Uh, but quickly, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, we've just passed 2,260 uh, 2, subscribers on the way to 2,300. So if you haven't subscribed already, that would be amazing. And thank you to all those subscribers for your continued support as well. That is fantastic. I've just noticed we've got this guy down here. He got stuck by the building. Uh, yeah, and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to send him far, far north. Probably all the way up there. I mean, probably even into there. It doesn't take him too long to walk that far, which is pretty good. Uh, but because it's episode 20, guys, we are going to be doing a toggle fog of war. We are going to be having a look at how our nation stacks up versus everyone else. So without further ado, let's get into that. So we control 140 regions, which is pretty decent, honestly. How many turns have we gone? I've been looking at a few of my old... Uh, videos as well and yeah the amount we've expanded is quite obscene you know 10 episodes ago we were only just taking alexandria really um i think we started with about 98 regions i believe so yeah 140 regions now is pretty good taking 40 odd regions in 75 turns not too bad it's not blitz standard but i don't think you can really blitz on ras otherwise all your settlements behind you would rebel <laughs> so yeah uh, i think we're doing quite well with that we are second uh in terms of our ranking first financially of course very nice second in terms of population second in territory fourth in military 20th in production which is a bit surprising uh, but i believe these seconds should be one uh, it's probably because of the rebel faction in the game. So, let's have a look at our ranking versus, say, the top five. Uh, top five. And we're also going to add in Parthia to that. And Bactria as well. Where are you, Bactria? Normally you're at the top, right? Come on, Bactria. Show yourself. No, that's Bosporans. That's Massalia. There we are, Bactria. Yeah, cool. So, you can see we are... Yeah, number one overall. It's just the rebel settlement. They don't show up on here, but the rebels, of course. Um, yeah, the rebels normally... Yeah, there's so many settlements that are rebels, so it's it's higher than us right now. Let's have a look militarily, though. We're actually third, which is quite good. Carthage is... We're just about to overtake Carthage. But goddamn. Rome. Rome, bro. Rome is absolutely monstering everyone. 
So I can't wait to see when we toggle fog of war what they're doing with that army. Probably nothing, knowing the AI. So yeah, uh, production wise, you can see, yeah, we're going up and down just depending on the turn and how much we're recruiting. Um, yeah, really going up and down. Territorially, oh my days, we are destroying everyone. Carthage and Rome are very, very close, but we are just absolutely monstrous compared to everyone else. Absolutely ginormous. Really nice to see. Financial-wise, you know, Rome's gone... Had a, Rome and Carthage both had a big dip, so I'm guessing that was, you know, a war, uh, a few battles between them in that period. And you can see Carthage has come back up. But Parthia is very, very rich right now, interestingly enough. Population-wise, you know, we're coming up to 1.2 million, which is pretty obscene for this game. So, yeah, doing decently. Uh, Finance-wise, let's have a look at some of our upkeeps. Our army upkeep right now is 145,000 a turn, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a lot. Quite, quite a lot. That is very, very, very expensive. We've got a big sort of uh, amount of wages as well. We're also recruiting uh, about a little bit. Yeah, we're recruiting uh, here and there. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look. Farming-wise, we're making about 48,000 a turn. Mining only 5,000. Trade now has become really important. So I think... We need to start looking at expanding our trading networks. And I think next turn, we'll spend all of our construction money for the next couple of turns on new ports and new roads. I think that's really going to be, you know, boost that trade income up a lot. And it should give us all a, a big boost all at once when all those ports sort of... Uh, uh, you know, build in. So yeah, trade, very nice. Taxes, of course, it's just above trade now. So they're about equal. So yeah, we want to look to try and maybe expand the trade so that it starts out stripping the taxes because that tax, you know, just goes up linear, linear, linearly, kind of, you know, a little bit exponentially with the population growth because we're all on low. Uh, whereas the trade, that tends to go up, you know, in a in a steeper exponential, I guess you could say. And I think that's it with uh, looking at our own faction. I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about. Agent screen, no thank you. Don't need to worry about that. So let's uh, let's toggle the fog of war, guys. Let's toggle fog of war. Whoops. I can't, I can't type today. Uh, but toggle the fog of war, guys. And let's have a look. First of all, let's look at our enemies, how they are doing. We've, of course, got Bactria up here doing pretty well they've actually expanded out into the mountains over here looking at it so that's going to make life pretty difficult for us you know i'm not going to change our approach by looking at this guys of course so please do remember that i'm not cheating uh, and it's good to see what the ai has been doing um yeah we've got our nice armies over here we're gonna come across to nisa and then we've really got a decision. Oh, sorry. No, we're going to come across to Alexandria Susia, then go back round to Nisa, and then we've got a decision. I think we go north up this way. But look, Parthia has actually expanded, and they're still expanding. We did see how rich they actually were, though. They don't have this settlement yet, which is very helpful, because I don't fancy marching all the way up there. But they've got this one. They have... Don't they... They have Nisa. Uh... They have one over here? Where where else do they have one? Let's have a look. I thought, looking at it, it looked like they had four, but it must just be these two. So maybe just two settlements still. It's going to become three. Whether we go for them first rather than Bactria, because they're a harder enemy to fight, you know, more spaced out, maybe that is the play, but we shall see. Bactria, of course, very rich. You can see the amount of trade that is flowing through their lands. Very rich area right now, and a lot of these places have mines available so you know i was thinking about this the other day you know our you know the uh, the cost per effectiveness uh cost per effectiveness i don't know i think that explains it you know the cost for this for the return uh into bactria looks very very low when you first take a look at it but actually moving north into this region these settlements are actually very rich very rich settlements with a lot of cash. A lot of cash. So, yeah. I think it's going to be... You can see the one of the mines there. They've built a mine there. Silver mine. What's this one? Is this gold? Yeah, gold mine. Very nice. Oh, more mines over here. A gold one. 
and a silver one as well. So, yeah, these regions are going to be some cashy, cashy regions, guys. Uh, so I think it's worth it. And when you actually look at how far away they are from, say, Babylon, I think it's about similar distance to our, west uh, our uh, western edge. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be losing more money to corruption up here than we would on our western edge anyway. So I don't think it's too bad. Alexandria Arian. Yeah, nice. Cool. So, yeah, Bactria's up here. We've also got the Sarka and, you know... Ideally, I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to come all the way up into this corner of the map. But, you know, it might have to be done if they do declare war on us. I don't think they'd be too bad. It's going to be hard. But, yeah, they, they've not really expanded too much. They've got a couple of settlements there, and they've got a couple down here. They've got this massive region, though. Is that just this one? Oh, yeah, it is. So, yeah. Uh, Sarka's doing okay. But let's have a look at some of our other you know, enemies. I do want to see where the Ptolemies are. So we've got these two across here, which we were marching for. We've seen all of the Ptolemaic uh, settlements down the coast now. Oh, they have this one down here that links into this one. God, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? And then they've also got this one down here and this one down here. God damn it. It is rebelling, though, so hopefully it does rebel. That would be great, because I don't fancy having to come all the way down here to get rid of the Ptolemies. But if worst comes to worst, we'll take this settlement, obviously, last. Once we get down to the bottom of here, we'll take, we'll come across to that one. We'll try and get our spy there so we can see where it actually is. Um, and, of course, we've got to take these two as well. Um, so, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a decide on what we're going to do there when we get to it. So, cool. Now, let's have a look. Kyrene is over here, remember? We are bordering them. They haven't attacked us yet. But they haven't really expanded. They've pretty much stayed where they are. They've not come out into the desert to, to take any of these settlements. So, that's good for us. Uh, and they've not actually gone against Carthage. Because they're not bordering them technically. So, yeah. Uh, they've not done anything, really. But let's have a look at Carthage then. Last time we had a look, turn 15, they hadn't destroyed the Massilii. And it's still exactly the same uh, story. The Massilii are holding out against Carthage, which is quite shocking. <laughs> Carthage, what are you doing? What are you doing, honestly? Like, they've taken this settlement here, but that's it. <laughs> The Massilii have actually come down here, and I don't think they had these settlements last time. That's quite a nice few settlements over there that are close together. Close to their capital as well, so low corruption. If they wanted to take them, look at the amount of armies they've got. If they wanted to take them, they could. They could. <laughs> but yeah, they've been dumb. So yeah, they need to come down and take these settlements. Massilii, fair play. I am very, very impressed with what you've been doing. And now we have the Massacilii that are over here. And they are still holding out as well. And they look very, very much... Oh, no. This is... No, that's Massacilii. Yeah, these are all Massacilii. That's Massacilii. Yeah, just very slightly different emblems there. So, yeah. These guys are still holding out as well. Of course, they've lost this region. But fair play. Fair play for holding out. I don't know how they've held out this long. Carthage has obviously just not really paid attention to them at all. And Carthage up here has expanded a little bit, I've got to say. Yeah. No, I think that's the three that you start with. So they haven't actually expanded into uh, Iberia, but that is fine. Um, so now let's... Yeah, they still have all their islands... Out here, though, as well, Carthage. So, fair play to them. They are carrying on strong. They've got Sicily, parts of Sicily still. But let's have a look here. Syracuse is doing actually pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty nice. Well done. Staying staying put. They'll be a hard nut to crack because they have really decent units like early game. So, yeah, they'll be a hard nut to crack for anyone. So, fair play to them for sticking out for so long because that's another nation that you'd expect to be killed quite quickly. So now let's have a look at Rome with the strongest army in the world by far. And you can see they've already got three full stacks, four, five full stacks, six, seven full stacks, just in this small area. I'm very surprised they haven't gone after the Boyai or the uh, Insubres over here, 
which they should do, but they've expanded slightly. Oh, no, they haven't actually expanded over here. Yep, yeah, Rome Classic has done nothing. <laughs> they've expanded up here. That's it. That's all they've done in 75 turns. Come on, Rome. What are you doing, bro? Look at all your armies. Look at all your armies. And you can't go and fight some barbarians. Shocking. Shocking. Terrible. Terrible behavior from Rome there. Not uh, the expansionist policy that we uh, we come to expect from them. Uh, but the Mas uh, Massalia still exists? That is something that shouldn't exist. Rome, you should have killed them ages ago. Um, yeah, Massalia still exists, but down here as well, we have the Arverni that have actually expanded quite a little bit. Nice bit of expansion for them. Not quite got over to the western edge of Gaul just yet, but nice. And so the Insubres, uh, sorry, Allo Broges are over here as well. But really when we come up north, we see the massive empires starting to fall. Form. The Adui over here. Very long, elongated empire you can see. Very cool indeed. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uxisama. Nice. I like that little island one. I've never even noticed that before. But you can see, I think the power of the barbarian powers is the Getai. Brancus of Isara. Good boy. Hiding in the trees there. Ready to uh, ambush anyone that comes after him. But yeah. Getai are... Sorry, the Get, uh, Belgai. The Belgai are absolutely crushing everyone around them. Look. At their expansion. It is fantastic. And the smaller these little areas are, the smaller these nations are, the easier it is for them to gobble them up. So, yeah, Belgai, really, really strong. Let's have a look at the Trinovantes. Yeah, they've not done much. They really haven't done much. They've just chilled out, really. Not gone after... Look, they should be going after these cities. Look, they have one person in there. They could go and take that with this. They don't need, you know, big armies to do it, but... Yeah, AI gonna AI, isn't it, guys? So, <laughs> you know, there has been quite a lot of expansion, really, when you look at it. You know, these these regions are all full with factions now, rather than being uh, empty and just full of rebe rebels. The Kimbri up here, they're doing fine. They are just kind of holding, really, I would say, which is, you know, a good idea, really, if you're the Kimbri. Keep holding up here against... The Suebi, which are down here. And they have really, really shrunk down. They were larger than this, I'm sure, last time we saw them. Probably because of the expansion of both the Chatti and the uh, Lugiai over here. Lugiai have really expanded. Some nice bit of expansion. If I was them, I wouldn't be going too far east. Because, obviously, these regions are very spread out. Far away from their capital. I'd be going into this lovely, rich land. In Germania over here and up into Denmark and Scandinavia. The boys still own um, part of uh, this over here. So they're still holding out down there. But I don't think it's going to be too long before the Lugii are going to be knocking on the door. The Volkai as well have expanded quite significantly. And doing a decent job. Soon they should be, you know, they're, they're uh, sieging here. So they should be into the Alps very soon. And probably putting pressure on these guys. And hopefully... When that happens, there'll be an all-out brawl for this area that Rome will most likely win. So we've covered all the Barbarian, the Northern Barbarian. So let's have a look at Espanol, at Iberia. So, the um, Editani over here. They've expanded down the East Coast quite significantly. Decent little job there for them. But I don't think anyone's going to stop the Aravachi over here. They're the biggest in this region. All the way down the center of Spain and they are going down into the south now. So I think Carthage is going to be under some pressure very, very soon, which is nice to see. And then we've also got the Lusitanians over on the west coast in Portugal and northern Spain. And, you know, they've not expanded fully into the rebel regions, but they've done quite a good job, I've got to say, so far, of holding out the uh, Aravachi and all that sort of thing. So well done to them. Good. Some really, really good AI movements over here. So let's now go into the, the wild world that is the Balkans and Greece. <laughs> so the Ardei are actually very, very nice. The Illyrian faction, very nicely expanded. Come down and taken Epirus, pretty much all of Epirus, near, well, nearly all of Epirus. Um, and yeah, really putting the pressure on Epirus 
over here. But I'm assuming the big wall between them is going to be between them and the score Disky, who have also, you know, spread out from this region really quite significantly. Only just started touching the Getai over here. And the Getai, again, doing a good job of expanding into the north. Um, and then down here, if we come down, we've got the Adrissians and Tylus. Tylus is dead, pretty much. One settlement. No, two settlements left. That is all for Tylus. Two settlements, guys. Not good. Oh, wait, no, we've they've got these ones. Four settlements. They're doing okay, but they should be under some very strong pressure soon as well. And over here, we can see the Greek city-states. They have recently declared war on us. You know, expanded a little bit. But it's the Adrissians that they should really be worried about. The problem for me is I've got to be very careful. If we come across here and take this, we're probably going to be chaining into a war with the Adrissians. And then if we fight a war with the Adrissians, we're chaining a war into the Getai and Tylers. I don't want to come up here. Look how far away that is from Babylon. That is obscenely far. I, I just want Greece. I want Alexander's Greece. I don't want, you know, up here. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we've got to be very careful with that. Whether we just push them back across the river and then try and get some peace with them, that might be quite a good idea. But let's have a look at actual Greece. So the Antigonids are still going strong. Still pretty much the strongest strongest nation. They're actually, yeah, very strong right now. They've not expanded very much, but they're not really expected to. They're kind of there as the big peacekeeper, the big bully that stops other people attacking them or attacking other smaller nations. So doing all right. As we've said, Epirus is under a lot of pressure. The um, Aetolian League... Uh, still just stuck in this little corner. Same as the Achaean League. Uh, but yeah, the Antigonids have really chained across here. And Sparta exists, but it's pretty much just defending its own lands against the enemy. Athens still exists as well. So do the Boeotian League. Uh, but yeah, they're just stuck in this little spot as well, which is, which is fine. But yeah, hard for them to get out of that crux. So I think our big enemy when we get into Greece will be the Antigonids. And my plan would be to try and take out some of these smaller nations first. Like coming into Sparta, fighting Sparta, even though they've got some pretty nice armies. Going to the Achaeans, taking that, and then coming off the Greek peninsula here into, you know, uh, the rest of Greece. Which would be, I think that that's the best idea so far. Obviously things might change. So Greece looking pretty messed up. Now let's have a look at the rest of our sort of northern Anatolian neighbors. We've got the Galatians. They are pushing against this rebel city over here with pretty much no troops. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're pushing against there. So we are going to have to fight them very soon. Uh, Cappadocia is doing okay. Like we can see, they're doing fine. They just don't want to expand too much. As we can see, they've, they've just stuck around, probably fighting quite a big war against Pontus. And Pontus is, you know, trying to expand as well. They've expanded quite a bit, actually, Pontus, since the start. So fair play to them. They're actually uh, neighboring us now, so they might attack us at some point. But luckily, there's no big armies over there just yet. And then we've got uh, these guys. What are they called? The, oh, oh, Armenia. <laughs> and what, yeah, what are these guys called? Atropatine. Yeah, there we are. Armenia has stayed pretty stagnant, stayed pretty still. And obviously, Atropatine still allied to us. So they've stayed pretty still as well. But looking to the hordes in the north, guys, the hordes in the north. Of course, we've got the Bosporan Kingdom over here. They've stayed around, but stayed pretty stagnant. But the hordes in the north, the Sarakis, the Scythians, they have really expanded all the way up north here. Yeah, if we put that on, should be able to see where these settlements are. Look how far they have marched to get some of those settlements when they could have just, you know, come down here or here. <laughs> but yeah, they have gone far, far north and they are keeping on going. So the Sarakis doing a really, really good job of uh, carrying it on. So I think that's everything, guys, for the Toggle Fog of War. And we are at the end of a turn. So let's untoggle the Fog of War. Toggle Fog of War, no. And, yeah, let's uh, end the turn. I don't think we've got anything else to do. We are recruiting that Navy still, like I said. Of course, this settlement rebelled, which is pretty annoying. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of problems we're having, of course, with uh, 
unrest and all that sort of thing. So I dread to press this end turn, but we shall see. <laughs> we shall see what happens. Okay, we've got we've got a we've got an Akontist eye in there now, which is great. Um, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> you bring your elephants. We actually killed zero. Great. Oh, we actually managed to retreat, though. I don't know how. They probably just ran away from the battlefield, so <laughs> fair play to them. Get onto the other edge of that map. If they stay outside the city, that would be absolutely peachy for us. That would be fantastic. Fantastic. Um, so we can land and do a bit of a quick assault on those elephants. Get rid of those elephants. Um, I don't know how they've got them there. There is an elephant... I don't believe there's an elephant resource down in Greece. So, yeah, I don't know how they got them, but okay, it's fine. Oh, yeah, we've also got one of these settlements over here in the middle. Is it you? Yeah, Baroya that needs to upgrade. Death stalks the land in Termesos. Yeah, we've, we've seen that. Suitable husband? No, because he's 40. I don't want the husband that's 40, okay? Okay, Nidos was very unhappy, probably because of being blockaded, but it's fine now. Uh, and then Heropolis. I believe that will sort it next turn. Do I want to take that risk, though? Actually, I'll retrain these guys. That should help. Uh, but not too much unrest. Now we're the most advanced faction. Thank you. I told you Carthage wasn't the most advanced faction last time. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we've got a fat navy, and that has cost us about... 6,000 a turn. Um, so let's see, you know, can we get most of this navy together? I don't think anyone will have Corvus Queen Kareems or anything just yet. So, you know. Yes, decent sized navy, isn't it? Can you get all the way to there? You can. If we could get all our navy together over here, that'd be fantastic. That's got to win some battles, surely. Surely that's got to win some battles, guys. <laughs> Can't just keep on losing all these naval battles. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, look at that. That's nearly a full stack navy. Like, that's got to beat back some of these Ptolemaic fools over here. You know, we should, should go for the weaker navies first. Didn't even need to move the boat for that. <laughs> it's quite good. Let's see whether we can leave uh, Kiosk now. Can we leave? We've got Gold Star Troops now. Very nice. Gold Star General. Uh, Gold Chevron General, should I say. Ooh, 40%. So not really very good, is it? Ah, where? Why? Why, 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 why? Unrest, 20%. Okay. Culture Penalty. What is the Culture Penalty? Well, that's Greek, and what are we? Western, Eastern Hellenic. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, that's quite a big culture penalty then. So taking Greece is going to be harder than what I expected because, you know, I didn't think we'd have such a big culture penalty. Distance to capital, 55, and squalor. It's actually quite a bit of squalor. 15% squalor in there, which is only 4,500 people. This gives us 10% public order, so I think we go for that. Now... Retrain those boys, I guess. Is there anyone else we can leave behind? I don't really want to leave anyone. No, I think we stay. I think... Yeah, let's... Get back in there. We're going to have to... Wait, how... How does this... What's... <laughs> there we are. Oh, no. Wrong way round. Oh, no. Well, I, I don't know. It, it showed the wrong way round then, I guess. But, okay. <laughs> That's fine. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we're going to... Well, we've pretty much got a new army ready out already. So, we might as well get them into the battlefield as soon as we can. Who are we going to lead it? And Kisi's? Uh Oh, no. We were moving someone across, weren't we? Um, can't see them. You, Yeah, you were going to manage because you're really good at management. Um, where was the person? You're four. Oh, God. Sorry. I knocked my microphone over. But uh, Atalos. Atalos, you are, yeah, two plus two morale. You are going to lead them. That's fine. We'll send you up there now so that we know that it's you that's going to lead them. And Artemis of Sardis. I'm sorry, bro. But yeah, 
You got a bit of command. You do are a true Greek as well. Sardisian. Citizen of Sardis. Cool. Doesn't like farming. He's pessimistic and conceited. Yeah, no, I think... Uh, I think Atalos is the best option here. Definitely. What are we building in Sardis anyway? I think probably best thing now is to build a market so we can get the next level of armor up. And yeah, and then probably next turn we'll look at forming an army here. And what is this army going to do? It's going to come down to Halicarnassus. Take that. And then... We will march up here and probably go against the Galatians? Yeah, I think that's the best option. So, yeah, as well, because we've got... Of course, we've got our boy. Uh, Bostra boy, Mr. Antiochus the Angry. Okay, that's not made them happy, has it? <laughs> they can upgrade now. What happens if I stick you in? 17%. Get these guys in. Ah, oh, God. Stop. <laughs> Keep misclicking. Wow, that's only 67% if I leave the whole army in there. They need Antiochus's influence. Oh, wait. He has no influence. Why do you have no influence? You are our faction heir. This man has an excess of spleen. Yeah, we know he's a very angry man, okay? <laughs> he's also ugly. Yeah, we know that. Uh, Hot-headed. Hasty. Uh, logis logistician. He's a very good commander. Welcome into foreigners. Conceited. Poor farmer. Yeah. No, he's a very good, uh, very good commander. But he just has no influence. <laughs> right then. We are going to get you guys retrained, aren't we? Like we've said. So we'll move you out. I think we go... I think we might as well, while these guys are retraining, march the rest of the army. Uh, we might as well recruit someone else as well. While we're here, recruit you. We'll march this rest of the army. We'll march them up to here. Because like I say, we do want to take Alexandria Susia back. And like I said, I'm going to exterminate them. This is their fault for rebelling against us. Uh, you guys can follow as well. I know it takes you a bit longer to get there. And, yeah, you guys are also... Oh, yeah, you guys can follow as well. Oh, no, you you guys, sorry, are the uh, the garrison for down here. Cool. Lots of campaign management, guys. I know. I know. Just going through everything. It's very hard when you're on... When you've got this many settlements to keep it all moving quickly. You've got to be methodical. Otherwise, you know, you'll miss things. And you'll forget to move an army one turn, which might cause you to lose a battle or whatever. So, yeah, you've got to be pretty methodical with everything. Let's have a look then. Arbella over here. I'm thinking potentially that inland... No, we said we were going to build all the uh, the ports, didn't we? So let's come over to the Mediterranean. And let's see whether we can expand any of these ports. You can get a port. A port for everyone. Everyone gets a new port. If you have access to it. <laughs> new port. It costs 5,000. So we're only going to be able to do a few. But... Every little helps, huh? Every little helps. A lot of these are actually ex growing. Uh, we'll get a market in there. Can you get a better port? You can. How about Alexandria and all that sort of thing? How much money is Alexandria making us? Only 3,000. So I'm going to get that Agora. Probably a lot of it's being lost to corruption. We're going to get that port. Good. Right. Let's end the turn. Ah, that was the general we were waiting for. He's over there. So maybe he's better, but we'll have to just check. Spying mission, success. When did I tell you to go in there? I didn't. That's that's a problem. <laughs> right, what I think we need to do is come across to whereabouts that Greek settlement was so we can actually see it on the map. There's one, like, down here, like all the way down there somewhere. Not Greek, sorry, Ptolemaic. But anyway... I didn't want you to go into that building, my friend. I didn't want you to. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We shall carry on. So maybe light for, for battles this episode, guys, like I've said. But we shall see. Um, once we get the proper, you know, we, we start on a rampage of conquest. You know, you get a lot of battles in, say, two or three episodes. And then it's two or three episodes of consolidating everything. You know, calming down. 
making sure everyone's happy. Oh, we've got a lot of people come of age. Fantastic. Thyatira. Yep, let's expand that. A suitable husband. You're 38, bro. Oh, whatever. I'll take you. I'll take you. Where are you? Wait, you're in Thyatira. <laughs> well, the guy's going to die soon, so it's fine. Now, we have Antiochos over here. Both of these guys are quite young. So, we want him in a place that doesn't have a, a guy. Samos doesn't. So, yeah, let's get you into Samos. Can you... Okay, you have to get a boat. I didn't realize you have to get a boat. That's fine. Apparently, this is not a strong navy, according to the game. Like, like we should beat that. If we don't beat that, that's just shocking. Like, they're all biremes as well. We've got more triremes than that. They do have one quinkareme of eight. Oh, good. I was going to say, if we didn't win that, that would be quite uh, ridiculous. So let's get Koss over here, retrain all these boys, make sure we're all good for our next big battle. We've got Tigranes over here as well. I wonder, there'll be some places over here, surely, that don't have people. Don't have governors. Not many. <laughs> Not many. How old are you, Seleucus the Liar? 50. Diodotus. The other guy's 53. Yeah, a lot of these places do have governors. Iconian doesn't, though. So let's stick you... Neither does Isaura, but I think we go for Iconian with you. And then let's have a look at where our next one came of age. Seleucus. There's so many. <laughs> Why have we got so many? Everywhere has got people in. Everywhere. Literally everywhere. Everywhere. Well, I think you can go all the way over here. Hopefully not get blocked. Ugh. Well, you got blocked. <laughs> we'll have to try and remember about you. Ariathus of Ephesus. You're going to come to Isaura because it's a bit closer. And we've still got Deathstalk to land into Mesos, which is a bit annoying. You know, all of these places, we really should be getting the Seleucid recruitment. What's your native, native culture Anatolian, but you're actually fully Greek now? That's actually fantastic. But we should be getting these Seleucid recruitments in because when someone dies... And it's only a single governor in there. We might be a little bit screwed. I think we'll be able to, um, you know, move it all around a little bit, though, and we'll be fine. So lots of building going on. And again, what we're going to do is we're just going to build ports. More ports. Keep on going with the ports. Ports, 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 ports. Ports everywhere. Ports everywhere. Um, yeah, we built quite a lot of ports down here, didn't we? Can we expand you? No. You are already... Port here is already third level, so... Maybe I'm going to check this. So, at the minute, our Arsino Klysma, Klysma does not have any trade routes coming off it. And these settlements... These two settlements are trading. So, I wonder, if we upgrade these two, whether they will trade... Because if not, there's no point upgrading those ports over there. And I don't know why it would be a difference. But yeah, it seems to be a slight difference. Right, so we've built the ports over here. So now we need to come down this coast. Probably just one more. Yeah, there we are. Maybe we've got enough for another. Is there anywhere around here that doesn't have a port that should? Maybe you. No, you do. You don't. So let's get a port there. Get some more trading going on. They're actually they're actually trading north, some of these. But is that... don't believe that's our trade route. That must be someone else's. Unless we're trading with the Bosporans. Maybe. Maybe we are. So, let's have a look up here. Let's get our army there. And as I say, we're going to exterminate these fools. Because you don't rebel against me and get away with it lightly. Not big Antiochus, you don't. So, yeah, let's keep on coming. Make sure we're retraining these boys. 
If we've got enough cash... Oh, okay. Where was the last place? We just built that small port over there, didn't we? So let's just cancel one of these bigger ports. Uh, and make sure we've got enough cash to retrain all these boys. Bactrians are just really... Don't really know what to do right now. And make sure we keep on training someone else. So we've got more, you know, replacement troops. Uh, we can, you know, bleed bleed the troops into each other, that sort of thing. So we've sorted out up there. Good. Have we sorted out down here? That's the main thing. Where are all these Akontista? Yes. Can we take all of these boys out? This is another place we could start to get some more governors. Is down in the south. Uh, we'll bring you down here. Could we leave here with you being happy? You have a lot of happiness right now. And Tychus is getting old. I'm very worried about him dying. I really don't want him to die. Um, do you know what? These three can stay here. And maybe they'll have enough. Yeah, just about. Uh, we'll probably build right here. We'll build that. And then we're going to build a recruitment. And we'll, while we're off conquering these... We'll re-upgrade Thebes into a city. Could also go here, couldn't we? I think we go for these two first. Yeah, well, while we're there, while we're uh, conquering these, because it's going to take a while, isn't it? We'll upgrade these into in Thebes into a recruitment hub, so we can retrain everyone before pushing south again. Um, so that's good. We've got them moving. Still can't get these guys moving just yet. One more turn, and I think we can. Everyone recruited here now, though. Good. We can actually start to get an army together. So who did we move? Did we move Antag uh, and uh, Tiganos? Yes, we did. Obsessional trainer. Reverent. That's two morale already. Understanding of logistics. Three morale. And I think that's it. No! Oh, no, that's no, in friendly territory, so that's for everyone. But three morale from this guy. So, yes, he is going to uh, man the troops. So, Atalos, you can probably actually go to Kios, I would say. We can get you on there. Bridge, a little uh, a boat bridge over here. You can get off. Maybe we can actually man the city now, if, if that's the case. So, if we get rid of you guys. Can you get on there? They can. It's only 55. That's going to be another 10. I think I'm going to risk it, you know. I don't, I don't think they're going to rebel too quickly. So, this army, where were we going to send it? We were going to send it to Delos. Hmm. You can actually get to Delos. Let's do it. I know we've got a pretty weak army. It's only this one settlement. We can actually ex assault straight away. I don't know why. Have we got an... Have they got a problem with their walls? Oh, no. It's because of the elephants, of course. You come down. That's fine. That's fine. And um, we'll just take that back from the Ptolemies. All you guys. You're getting retrained, aren't you? Fantastic. Right, let's organize this army. I know we're, uh, you know, taking a bit of time, guys, but... It has to be done. It has to be done. So, this army is going to come to here, isn't it? Halicarnassus. Or is it? Hmm. i got to decide. This brand new army. So, Ariathus, the conqueror. Or the handsome, apparently, now, even though he's a monstrous conqueror. <laughs> um, he's going to take Delos. And then, probably on the way back, take Halicarnassus. So, we don't need to send him there. What I'm thinking we'll do with this army, then, is we will march east into uh, into this land. Although we do need to fight the Greek city-states. Let's, uh, if we can get a, a diplomat next turn, we will. So, let's get you out. And we're going to go on the assumption that we are marching east towards the Galatians and probably declaring war on the Galatians. So, let's do that. We'll get our five Zista four. I, I think five is a good number. You know, four I normally go for, but the more cavalry you have, the more powerful your army is going to be, isn't it? So, then we'll get our four archers in there. We'll get you. Oh, God, you can't even reach there, really. What a slug. 
What a slug of an archer you are, my friend. An absolute slug archer. And then let's get all of these that we can. Or like the hypastists as well. Then we'll go for the Chalka Speeders, and then we'll fill the rest with whatever we've got. But I think that's it. This is a full phalangite army, pretty much, apart from two units of hypastists, which we will use to uh, flank the enemy. You guys at the front, in case we auto-resolve. That is a very nice army, isn't it, boys? Very, very nice indeed. A bit annoying. We haven't got the hypastists. Uh, got their, their upgrades yet, neither the general, but that's fine. And we'll come across here. Although, we got this little one. Maybe we go there first. <laughs> There's so much to do. <laughs> Sardis is still happy. How's Pergamon? Still happy. These guys, you know, are decent units. I think they'll be joining this army back when it gets back. So, yeah. Is Andragoras uh, Ariathus' son? I'm assuming so. Uh... Don't want to move followers. I wanted to see your your family tree. Yeah, Andragoras is his uh, his son. All of his kids are called the Handsome. He's a very very handsome family, apparently. <laughs> right, let's end the turn, guys. Hopefully, we get a battle at some point. But I do nay know. I do nay know. Um, yeah, I thought this was going to happen, and it's it's pretty evenly matched when you look at it like that. You know, they've got a lot of infantry. We're really going to have to let the Chalka Speeders do the heavy lifting. Also, the archers. They are going to be crucial in scaring those Indian war elephants <laughs> that they've got there for some reason. <laughs> Cavalry-wise, we we definitely have the upper hand. So that's going to really, really help us out. If we can trill, kill um, Patroclos, early doors... That should be good. And we're in the defensive position, so maybe we'll get a good map. But we're right on the coast, so I very much doubt it. So I'll see you on the battle map, guys. I don't know what, what was going on then. I'm sorry. Here we are. Oh, we've got a little uh, hamlet in the middle. Doesn't look very Greek. Although, you know, I ain't no historical expert, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but I just did, didn't I? Oh. Oh, well. Right. Uh, yeah, we're going to skirmish with our missile boyos. Skirmish, skirmish, skirmish. It's pretty cool, that little uh, settlement in the middle. I like that a lot. I'm going to get our boys here. We're really... This is, you know, all going to come down to flanking. These boys got to be in a bit of a chunky formation. There we are. So they're not absolutely screwed when it gets to fighting. All on fire at will. Going to have to get everyone to pitch in even the really damaged units as two elephants can stand behind. <laughs> our cavalry will stay with you. Um, yeah, we'll get all our cavalry here. They're just going to protect the uh, the men. What's this? Where are they? Oh, well, that's mine. <laughs> Where's their men? I can't see them. Hello? Hello! Ptolemies! There you are. There you are! You cheeky little chappies. Let's go. Get these guys forward. I don't think I've sworn today. What's going on? I've not been salty enough, maybe. Uh, where are your elephants, my friends? I don't really want to fire on these uh, Cretans, etc. I want to fire on your Ellies. Let's go. Get out that way. We'll wait until we can actually see the elephants, and then we can go in and, you know, fire upon them. There they are. Let's get over here. Are you going to charge my, my, my guys? You are Theroporoi Cavalry. Let's get over here. You know, if you want to charge him, that's fine, bro. You're just going to, you know, meet a pretty bloody and brutal end. I speed this up. It doesn't need to be this, this slow. Oh, the Ellie's... Go away! Ellie's, you're going the wrong way, bro. <laughs> one thing... The one good thing is our archers are pretty much faster than the elephants, so... Come on, the boys! Let's go! Charge! They should be firing their javies, but we should get a good charge off before they fire their second javy. Should... Yeah, we've shredded them. Nice. That's what we like to see. 
Right, get our archers over here. If our, if those Ellies get into us, we, we are pretty screwed. So, we do need those jab uh, those archers to, you know, have a have a bit of a good go at the Ellies. Also, the Akontis die, potentially. Who are you? Peloponnesian Hoplites. You're going to be decent. They don't like to fight Valangites head on, so we're probably just going to have to, you know, move around slightly. We've got our own elephants, remember. Now let's see whether we can get a cheeky little opportunity over here. Speed it up. Okay. Yes. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Get on fire. I want you all to fire at them. Make those bastards go mad. Oh, yay. I swore. Yay. Let's go. Right, uh, make them go mad, please. They're going to be firing back at us, but, you know, fire Ellie's. Once, the, once one of those elephants sets on fire, we should be we should be good for making them go mad. It's going to take a few volleys, though. We don't have a massive amount of archers. They don't have a huge amount of experience, either. They're just coming and getting and shredded, so enjoy. These are really everything else I'm fine with. These Ellie's, though, they're going to do some damage if they get close. Up close and personal, so. Fire, boys. Just fire. Thropoid Cavalry's come back. Okay, we've got a few damage now. You can see that they've got the uh, the blood effect on them. So they are down a few hit points. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Let's go. Get out now. Get out. Get away from them before they attack us. That's their secret weapon, Deaded. Very nice. They, they can still come and attack us. That's the one problem that we may have here. Um, actually, we'll keep here. We'll, we'll just keep on the side, firing into the flank of them. Very nice. Nice and easy. Come on, Ellis. Charge! Charge! Charge, boys! Charge! Did I, not, I thought I turned you off, fire at will. Fire, fire arrows. But oh well. Oh, hello. You're fighting the Akontisti, are you? We'll get behind them. We'll fire at them. You guys go there. We'll we'll surround these boys. You know, the Akantis die are going to get shredded, but it's not a problem. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Charge time. Charge time. Oh, they, they, that was not a good charge by them. They really screwed that up. Uh, if we could catch these guys, we can actually start shredding them. You guys forward. Kill him if you can. No, no, no. I'm not running through the phalangites. That would not be good. Get these guys back. Back, back, back. They don't like those archers, do they? They're actually very scared of the archers. Which is a bit weird. Don't be scared of the archers, bro. Sorry, it's a Radio 4 program in, in the UK called The Archers. But that was not that was not the theme tune. Not really. I don't know what that was. I was trying to do the theme tune, but I've forgotten it. <laughs> oh god damn, these guys alive. He's done a little rally as well. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not too bothered about my bloody archers fighting them, because I'll charge them in the back. Right, you need to come here. You need to get your phalanx down and come here. They're shaken. They're very tired as well. Get the Theroproid Cavalry. Fire into these guys. So what we're going to do, get you two out. They can charge my archers, no problem. Not too un unhappy about that. And we're going to charge them in the back with our cavalry. Much better. You guys get there. They're putting the phalanx down in the wrong direction. Good for us. Big cavalry charge, boys, and we're going to make sure Ariate. We're going to try and make sure Ariathus doesn't die. No, we're not going to do that. We won't seen as they've changed direction. God damn! Fire at them! Fire at them! I'm happy with everything else. I hope that general comes back. I don't want him to escape, but it looks like he isn't going to come back. Get them. The elephants are just chilling out in the middle. <laughs> Fire into there. Actually, no. You guys. No, that's my unit. Go, 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 
Okay, we've got the other unit. Deaded. If we can kill, we need to kill all of those. So I'm happy to leave them there fighting to the death. Oh, Jesus. That was not ideal. Did not mean to run through those Ellies. God damn. All right, we'll go into the mercenary Theroperoi. <laughs> We're just whittling these guys down just by firing at them. Nice. Let's watch another volley. They're firing as well. They're just stood opposite the... The pikes fire it. Look at that. Absolutely shredding them. Come on, boys. Let's get out. Let's let's bait them. Oh, no. They, they routed. Okay. These guys routed as well. Uh, yeah. These guys have routed. Decent. Decent little battle. The Roperoid Cavalry. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm so worried then Ariathus is going to die. <laughs> no, Ariathus. Don't die. Get here. God, this army is absolutely battered, isn't it? It is battered and brutalized. Luckily, we've not lost many Chalka Speeders here. So, yeah, happy with that. Problem is, we're going to have to end this battle when everyone runs away. Because of those Ellies. Unless we do chase them with our archers and try and shoot them down. How many have we killed, anyway? Are you still fighting, guys? No, you've actually stopped now. Good. Let's just come back a little bit. <laughs> just go. And then we'll fire at them again. They're not going to be able to catch up with us. Even if they start running, we can run faster than them. So, yeah. How have they still got ammo? That's the one thing that annoys me. Is like They seem to have ammo for ages, but they don't. I know they have the same amount of ammo as us, but yeah, you guys get away. Um, we need to get our archers over there ASAP, really to uh, fire at these guys. So, yeah, it's a nice army. There's quite a lot of experience, you know. Gold experience on this Theroperoi now. 43 defense. Quite good. Quite good. Oh, hello, Theroperoi cavalry. Just fire at them one volley. I'm fine with this. Don't think they'll do much damage on the charge. A little bit. A little bit, admittedly, but not the worst. And it just gives us a chance to then charge them, so... And then these guys will probably break. Oh, under the charge. Oh, nice. I like the fact we can see the ships out there in the ocean as well. Yeah, that's everyone. Kill them. There they are, waiting for us. We have just landed after all. Yes, good. Is that not everyone gone? I guess. Yeah, there we are. Let's end the battle. We pretty much killed everyone we could. That should... Oh, no. That should be enough to... That should have been enough to destroy both armies. But I think Patroclus... Patroclus survived. So, hmm. Maybe not enough to kill his... His side of the army. But, yeah, it'll just be him with, like two units hopefully not many elephants but it might be elephants but oh well we'll uh, we'll probably auto resolve it it will probably kill a few of our men but oh well oh well you know no point fighting a battle against two units so i'll see you on the campaign map guys here we are oh um well we're gonna lose this yeah <laughs> we can't get off the island <laughs> Um, right. I know they did rebel against us, but because we're close to Greece and it's the Ptolemies, I'm not going to exterminate it. We're going to enslave again. And this time, we're going to make sure they're happy. <laughs> uh, once we get our massive navy, we'll, uh, you know, start coming across. Oh, hello, Bactria. That might force our hand. Very quickly. You know, we might... We, I'll see. If, we, if we've got enough mercenaries available. I might put together another mercenary army up here. It's just increasing our costs so much by doing that, but you know, I think it's probably worth it. Spy, my friend, where are you? Oh yeah, you're... So you've seen these two. Yeah, we're going across here to see whether we can find that other Greek settlement that we saw on the Toggle Fog of War, and then down to the south to find that other one as well. Rioting in Memphis! Wow! Well, we've not had that for a while. Well, we don't even have a shrine to Hera yet, so that's understandable. So, let's build that. 
Apamea Regiana and Heliopolis Syria. Let's get that in there. Charax the Handsome. Ariathus the Handsome. Grudge Holding Slave. Minus three from personal security. Minus three from public security. <laughs> Great. Great. I mean... <laughs> It's a great bit of retinue there for you, my friend. <laughs> Terrible. Right, let's have a look at this uh, mine in Elusa over here. See how much money it's actually making. 500. You know, we're losing so much money. More than half the money to corruption over in this region. So we're going to have to have a look at that at some point. Uh, but for now, we're still upgrading the ports really around here. You've only got 17 left because you did actually fight in that battle. Um... You know, what would be best here is the ability, I'm assuming it's native Greek, yeah, would be the ability to recruit. But I don't, I'm not wasting six turns waiting. We've got two Akontistai there. Have we got any other settlements with a load of Akontistai? You were coming across here, weren't you, my friend? Well, we'll get our big navy that's had a bit of retraining now. Pop you there. And you can get on there, can get off here. <laughs> boat bridge, boat bridge, let's go. Get into there, my friend. And then, yeah, let's... We got... Yeah, we've got a few Akantistai hanging around, so what we're going to do... Gonna pop them out over here. Pop them all the way over there. And next turn, what we're going to do is get them across to Delos. So that temple, yeah, we've got two levels of Temple of Hera. Thinking, let's go for the Execution Square. It's a good bit of extra law. And it should keep them in line. Should keep them in line. Say should. Because <laughs> it should, but yeah. Right, let's finally take this rebel settlement that's been in the middle of our settlements for, for quite some time. <laughs> that No one knows that that city exists, apparently. But yeah, we'll go and take it. Uh, so you into Iconion and you into Isaura. Down in the south, you keep moving, my friend, all the way, Antiochus, over here. Yeah, they've got no one. They've literally got some slingers and wooden walls, so we shouldn't take too much losses on that, um, what do you call it, that uh, auto-resolve. Is it Greek as well? Yeah, pretty much Greek, so that's going to be very helpful, like we've said before. And can we leave here yet? Let's have a look. Tychus the Angry. No. Not quite. Maybe, though. I move you out of there. Yeah, instantly happy. You're still fine. So, we have Palmyra... It's only going to take us a couple of turns to get there. Walking through the desert, though. Bit of a march. And then we're going to go to Antioch. And then go north. Straight into the this region here of Cappadocia. Because it's their most northeasterly region. And then we'll swing back around and take them out from the back. I think that's the, I think that's the idea. I think that's the idea, anyway. <laughs> oh, we have this battle as well. Cool. You, my friend, can you recruit mercenaries? You can. 10,000. Have we got another general over here? I think we can make one, you know. All these guys are now retrained, are they? Fantastic. Well, actually, we don't need to. We've got this army. I didn't really want to split these up. <laughs> But I guess we're doing it. <laughs> I guess we're being dumb again. So let's do it. Uh, and you. Get back in there. Hopefully they're happy. Yes, they are. Good. Right. All these mercenary boyos. They're going to come and join this little army. And you boys. Going to get in there. So what is in here? It's pretty much just mercenary Asian cavalry. It shouldn't be a problem. It's yeah. 
See, I want to auto-resolve this, but I know if I do, it's just going to ravage that army. We got so Oh my god, we've got some archers in here. What, two, four, six, eight, ten archers? We need to remove those two and get two more infantry units. We've even got more archers there. Well, let's uh, recruit. I know we've got the two up there, but we're going to join the mercenaries into them. Two more Theroparoi, and they're going to join this army in due course. We've got to fight this, guys, and we're going to just skirmish it as much as possible. Try and kill as many people as possible with our archers. So I'm going to try that. So I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Is it? Okay. Yes, I agree. Day for the histories. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, it's actually two. We're, on, we're not on. We're not in the best place. This is by far the best place to come into this settlement. You know, this is no. Yeah, this is no slouch either. This is pretty decent. Look at the amount of archers we got in this army. That's a bit obscene. I. I, I did. I obviously didn't calculate that right. Ten archers, bro. <laughs> We're going to split them down the middle. Half of you is going to come this way. And we're going to use the archers to man the rams. Because I'm not too bothered about the archers getting killed. So you're going to man that ram. You're going to man that one over here. We're going to swap you over here. So you're group one. Your group two, yeah, sorry. Your group one, your group two. And then we'll send three Theroparoi on this side. Three Theroparoi over here. Nice little split tactic battle. And you, the Median Cataphracts. I don't want to use you in this battle because you will be very useful against Parthia. Ah, I forgot about our reinforcements. They're going to do what they want now. That's slightly worrying because what they want to do is it's probably not very clever. Um, <laughs> let's bring these guys forward anyway. You go to there. Got our horse archers over here. wonder whether you can have a few pot shots. And you guys... Yeah, I also don't really want to use you if I don't have to. Can you guys not fire? Yeah, they are. It's just... Yeah, with that... Yeah, with that arc of fire, they're not going to hit anything right now. But we need to wait for the gate to get open. So let's do that. Speed it up. Speed it up. I could probably just do this with the cavalry if I really wanted. Because that's just skirmishers. Asian skirmishers there. But we're just going to try and fire as much as we can. How are these guys? Are these guys not firing? Are you firing? Should fire. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. I think we get these archers forward. Are you firing yet? You're not. So if you're not, get out of it. We don't need you. If you're not going to fire, don't do it. Now these guys should all have a pretty good arc in straight in through the doorway. I mean, you guys are going point-blank range right now, aren't you? So, yep. Right then. Uh, infantry. I'm going to force our way in. Oh, hello. Hello. Um. Get them. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that's screwed us. Well done. Fair play. I mean, that's one archer unit that we don't need to worry about retraining or anything. <laughs> You can fire at will as well. Oh, that should absolutely shred them. Guys, charge them, will you? Rather than just standing there. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, they've, they've run already. They've run already. Oh, well. Get out. Uh, I think, yeah. It's too... The walls are too high and, and all that sort of thing to really make much difference. In terms of firing into the enemy. So we're going to have to do this with infantry, I think. Not that we have... We don't. We just don't have much infantry. But it's fine. 
We'll get in. We'll see whether we can fire at them anyway. Yeah, maybe misjudged. Yeah, they're just the, it's just not big enough settlement for the archers to have much impact. Who are you? Asian skirmishers. I don't like you. Get there. Anything. Right, boys. Let's go. Charge. Charge. And these boys. You charge there. We're going to get you to charge there. And there. And then we're going to get our archers. Come right close to the gate. General's going to come as well. I can't see us having a problem beating any of these guys back in melee. They're all skirmishers and slingers and all that sort of thing. Keep charging, boys. One thing we don't want to do, though, is... If we do, if we do that, just ch chuck as many javis in that situation as possible. And then these guys shouldn't have a problem. Asian light spearmen, not going to be a worry at all. Okay, we're in the fight now. We're in the fight. We're in the fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's speed that up. We don't need to go this slow, do we? Wondering if, you know, having the archers here, they can fire right into the back there. That would probably be quite good. Yeah, we've got these guys. Have we got my general in yet? No. So, you. I think you follow him around. You have to go all the way around this way. To get into the back. Let's go. And then where's General? Get him here. Get him there. And we'll follow them along that way. You know, one thing is these guys are going to take a little bit of damage just from, you know, missiles really is the main issue they're going to be facing. But I think they're fine. Looking at them, they, they look fine. I don't think we're going to have a problem here. Where's me, uh, Thropperoy? Sorry, not Thropperoy. Yeah, you are Thropperoy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And we'll uh, do the old sandwich. Oh, they don't like going that way. So let's get you there. Speed up. Get into those Asian slingers. Okay, they want to go down this little... This route here. If they do that, that's fine. We'll uh, charge them with our cavalry when they come out the other side. So, yeah. Oh, our guys just, just kept pushing all the way into the town square. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna finish them off pretty soon. Are our archers firing down here? They actually are. Nice. Don't think you should fire anymore, my friends. I don't think you should fire anymore. Just wait. There we are. Didn't need to overcomplicate this, did I? I don't know why I did. Well, fire your jabbies, boys. Nice. That's nice. Nice little shred of them there. Fire your last javis, if you have them. Get in the fight. We lost a few. We've lost a bit of infantry here, but it's fine. You can see our infantry is good against these sorts of armies. These very, um, you know, very skirmisher-based armies. So, like, Parthia. So, yeah, we, we, 291, really? How many? A lot healed. Arch. Oh, I guess the archers. That the one archer got charged, and they a lot of them died. Yeah, that archer seventy eight. Thoroughbred lost forty as well, and that Thoroughbred forty eight. But yeah, it's fine. We're, we're gonna have two more units ready to go soon, so not too worried. But I'll see you on the uh, campaign map, guys. Oh, we've gone over time by quite a bit. Whoopsies. Here we are. And, yep, as I have promised, exterminate. Get rid of the people in this settlement. They are not loyal. <laughs> Still has a Seleucid recruitment here. Yep, they are not loyal. Fools. Fools of all kinds. Right, let's carry on marching, though. If we can. And we'll use you... Guys, and Dragoras the Kind, Argios. Wait. What's going on here? Why didn't Argios come with us? I was going to say, where's he come from? He's a general. 
And it's time to go for Nisa. Nisa, Nisa, Nisa. Yeah, let's go for it. Still worried about... I know we did the Toggle Fog of War, and it didn't seem like there was many massive Parthian armies around, but you'd never know what the AI's got up its sleeve. Plus, what's going to happen. <laughs> like, Yeah, you never know. But I'm glad we are on the march again in the north. Very, very useful. Right, let's do a bit more building. See, these, these ones as well, like, there's not many trade routes over here. Let's see whether we can upgrade any of them. Can upgrade you, and that might allow you to trade over here, which would be quite useful. Let's have a look at a few of these. Any, yeah, we've got an extra one there. You can build there as well. Good, because you're closer to home, so you're going to make more money, less corruption. You don't even have a port, so let's get that in there. Um, and then, yeah, I think that we've done everything as well this turn, haven't we? That we can. Where's the big army? Yeah, everything we've done this turn, yeah, we've done everything we can, so that's good. And I think we're going to end it there, guys. So please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Uh, make sure you comment down below your favorite moment from the episode. That would also be awesome. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again on the next video.